Maybe if I stare at it long enough, it will fix itself. Probably not. The story so far. This is my 2010 Dodge Ram 1500. My plan was to replace coil springs and shocks, complete unit, with brand new shiny ones. However, this bolt had other ideas. It will not come out. It is trapped and seized in that bushing. And yes, I've tried penetrant, big hammers, power tools, impact guns. The problem is that because the bolt is seized in the metal sleeve inside the bushing, when you hammer it, it's basically just, it's absorbing that energy into the rubber. So hitting it with a bigger hammer doesn't really do anything. So I'm left with only one option. And that would be total destruction. Options would be to cut this here, cut it on that side to get that spring out of the way, give me a bit more room. Or I could run an angle grinder in this gap, chopping through the bolt on that side. That side as well, except it's going to be a wee bit difficult because I don't have a huge amount of space. The angle grinder would need to come in from the underside to chop that. Then I can get the spring assembly out of the way and hopefully I can use my ball joint removal tool. Hopefully. Other than that, I may have to remove this entire lower control arm which would mean removing that big giant bolt and bushing which i could have the same problem that one there that one there i would also have to remove this assembly here there's a ball joint down there that might lift out the way without having to remove the drive shaft but it's a huge a huge pain so i'm hoping that this method will work. So let me grab some tools and start cutting things off. Okay, I have my angle grinder ready. I'm going to start with the hard side. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to have a huge amount of space in here. So I'm using a disc that's already part worn because I'm only going to be able to get in, oh, maybe three quarters of the way and then use a big hammer to get the rest of it off. Depending, this disc might wear down enough that uh, it'll be small enough to get in there, but ah, we'll give it a shot. Here goes nothing. I think we're about halfway through. Just a wee bit awkward, I don't have a lot of space underneath to push it up. Right, let's continue. I'll be careful I don't cut through my, uh, <laughs> my lower control arm. That would be a disaster. Made a breaky sound. So all that's happened there is the rubber in the bushing has detached itself from the outer sleeve, but the inner sleeve is still fully attached and just turning the rubber within the bushing. This is why I've got to try and cut this bolt off to get access to be able to push the whole bushing out. I can't do that until this shock absorber is off at the bottom. Okay, let me continue. I'll give you an update soon. Now, because I'm able to spin the bolt now, albeit it's not coming in or out, 
I can at least spin it round a bit and get a bit more angle grinder cutting on the inside and then eventually if I'm getting halfway through then I should be able to turn it 180 degrees and get the other half off in theory okay that worked that side is pretty much off so now get the easy side to do now I have kept one nut at the top of the strut here just in case if that came loose then I didn't want the whole thing falling down on me. Precautionary measures. Okay, so I'm going to chop in there. Take that pesky bolt off ski. Okay, so now I can just chop this drop link off. I've got new ones coming and the whole lower control arm should just lever down or fall down. I don't know what it's going to do, but uh, as I say, I've got that nut up the top to prevent the shock from just dropping on my hand. Let's see how we get on with getting that out. Yeah, just the just the little nuts holding it in place. Okay, that's the easy part done. This next part's going to be pretty tricky. Now, obviously, this bushing needs to come out this way and it will be kind of tapered or at least there's a... It kind of starts thin and then goes up a wee bit, so it has to come out this way. Problem is, the tool I've got can certainly push that way, but it needs something to locate to on this side. And as you can see, it would need to get over this shoulder here. And then I've only got this weird slopey bit and then this small section here, and I've also got these little raised lugs. So I may have to chop this shoulder off in order to get a collar over the top so that it can push against this side of the control arm. Awesome. Let's see what I can come up with. And I've had a slight change of plan. I'm gonna try and push the rubber bushing out of the sleeve first. Because, as I say, there's, it's very difficult to get a collar around the whole thing. If I can push the insert out first, then I could probably bash the sleeve out. I accidentally hit it there once, and it bent in quite easily. So I might be able to just tap the whole thing out with a hammer and chisel. Famous last words. We'll give it a shot. So this is kind of crude, but we're only pushing the rubber out of the bushing itself and the rubber's already detached. It shouldn't require a lot of pressure. We'll see. reach basically the inside of the bushing is hitting that so theoretically if I loosen this off it should just be sitting right there it wouldn't be though it'll probably retreat back into its hole Now it's stuck inside the inside the tool. That's okay, I'll get that out, no problem. Famous last words. Hey, there's a lot of famous last words today, have you noticed? Okay, let me show you what we're left with. So 
So we just need to get that out somehow. Might be able to hammer it with a chisel on this side. Even if I just deform it, you know, I don't care if it comes out in one piece, as long as it comes out and doesn't damage the lower control arm. Ha ha! I win! You lose! Whew. Right, let's see how much damage I've done. Oh, hard to see from this side. Let's give it a wee wipe. Where are we? Oh, there. So a wee bit rough there, but I can just uh, grind that down smooth. The inside, I managed not to whack with the big chisel. Let's see the other side. The other side is where it's gonna go in. Yeah, not too bad. So hopefully I'll be able to push the new one in there. Hopefully. So one side is now done and ready for its new parts. I got that drop link out, top and bottom, and that's cleaned up. And that's it, really. Just need to fit the new bushing, which I'm going to put in the freezer overnight when I get it. They're not going to arrive till maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. But that's okay, I've still got the other side to do. But hey, now that I know what I'm doing, I should have that out in like, what, 10 minutes? I'm actually quite pleased at how that turned out. You know what they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get a big fabulous hammer. That seemed to do the job. Okay, as I say, I'll uh, fire on and get the other side off and then it's gonna be all ready for its new parts when they arrive next week. Uh, and, <clears throat> excuse me, while we're waiting, remember I've got something special coming on Monday for Bugsy, so make sure you tune in. Not sure what I'm doing tomorrow, this is Saturday, so Sunday. Ah, I'll surprise you. Right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.